Celebrity Psychic Medium Tony Green here with yet another show for you. Yes, um, this is, I have to say, you guys, this is absolutely the joy of my week. Every time I come on air and I'm able to do a show and hang out with you guys, that is it for me. It's like my recreation time. Um, so thank you all for being here. I'm so grateful for that. Thank you to everybody who participates in the comments live on YouTube, hits the like button, everybody who calls in to ask questions, people asking questions on YouTube. This show would not exist without you guys. Um, well, I could just talk for an hour, but who wants that? <laughs> really, who wants? Nobody wants that. Okay, we're going to get started right away because there's so much. My, For those of you who are new, you who are returning, thank you. And let me give you a little, um, a little rundown of everything with the show. First and foremost, I go between people calling in and people... Um, on YouTube asking questions. Once the show is over, I will never reach out to you and say, hey, uh, you need a reading. Or if anybody reaches out to you on any social media, on any of the podcast forms, on any anything, it is not me. I'd, I'm on so many podcasts. I don't even know them all. And I unfortunately can't get to them for the comments because I'm not even aware of all the stations and streaming and everything that I'm on. So please, the only way to get a session with me is to call my business number, um, eight four. No, that is not my business number. Four one four eight nine seven two eight six nine or to go to my website where all the details are there about everything. And that is T-O-N-I-G dot info. It's in the bio. So if you click the bio, you will find um, two websites. One goes straight to my website. And the other one, I don't really keep up with that much, but it's like products I like and love and whatever. Um, so, okay, now we're going to start the show in just a couple of seconds. And the first thing I want to say is um, if I call your area code or uh, your name, I want, I need one specific question um, to, 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 to answer or the name and the relationship of a loved one that you do want to connect with. So if you do get on, that is how I do it. Um, just, it almost like gives me permission to get into your energy and your loved one's energy to get those answers that you're looking for. Oh, there is a lot of energy going on today, folks. And you guys know that when my nose itches, did you see that? Do you see that flashing? There's, I'm just going to turn my camera so you know. Over to this side, there is just plants and my smoothie. Whatever is flashing over there, there's no light over there. So if you see that flashing, oh, that means they are here. They are here. Okay, so I'm going to do names right away. Um, these names could be a name, of a, a name of a loved one, your name, and um, or somebody that you know. You guys, do you see this? Do you see this flashing today? Usually my eyes are closed, but it's like, they are like, we're here. Hello. I love this. Oh, my goodness. Keep doing it, you guys. Show up. Show out. <laughs> <laughs> let me know yes they're in the in the they're saying they see if you are listening if you're if you're listening to my show get on youtube you have if you when you can watch this show it's like flash 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 there's no paparazzi in here there's no paparazzi any place ever for me <laughs> but no seriously if you are watching you need to if you're not watching you need to see this it's i love it thank you guys for showing up um and letting everybody know you're here it's fabulous okay we're gonna go okay. <laughs> this is just gonna make me giddy through the whole show loving it um okay so here we go 
uh, the names, I, the first name I'm hearing is Dan and but I'm hearing Belangio, Belangio. And then I'm hearing, oh, I know I'm seeing it even though I'm trying to, oh. <laughs> no words. No, no words. Okay. Um, the next name I'm hearing is Dawn and then Frankie. And then I'm hearing the name John. I'm hearing the name Joseph, Laura, Lucinda or Lucinda. I'm hearing the name Michael. Oh, and then I'm going to do two more names. Um, I'm going to do two more. They're trying to give me a name. It's like Mikhail uh, or something like that. And then I'm also hearing the name. The last name I'm going to do right now is Robert. Okay. Other names will come, come in throughout the show. Now, typically I do songs. Um, and the songs could be something they listen to, use, listen to. But today I want to do statements. So little micro messages. And the reason I want to do this, I know there are people waiting to get questions answered and in the call log trying, you know, wanting um, um, uh, questions too. But there are so many people who watch the show on TV, WSCS, and all of their channels and streaming and Rude Rangers and all of their streaming channels, and they never get to maybe call in. <clears throat> and if you do want to join the show live, it's live every Monday at noon central and every Wednesday at 7 p.m. central. And I try to throw in a weekend show. But, um, but for those who don't... <clears throat> I'm going to just give some things that are confirmations over songs today. I just really want to do the confirmations because I've been getting so many statements of things that are like, I loved cigars, which is what I'm hearing right now, um, but was told not like, like, I feel like this person, whomever it is, whenever they would a, a stogie, a stogie like a cigar stogie that they would be told, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Um, then the next statement that I'm hearing is get me some lunch. <laughs> I wish I could say that to somebody someday. <laughs> Yo, go get me some lunch. Um, the next state statement I'm hearing and the statements can be visions that I'm going to try to give you. Somebody loved Cornbread, oh, they were a carboholic cornbread with greens. I don't, and I think these are mashed potatoes. They look like mashed, mashed potatoes to me, but they're calling, they're saying grits. I don't think I've ever seen grits in my life. I don't, if some, I would be looking like the most ridiculous person because if somebody asked me what was grits, I would probably... I know it's a food, but I would probably say, isn't it like a type of dirt? No, it's not. It's a food and it's very good. But I'm hearing that like cornbread, greens, collard greens, and grits. Now, I, that has to be somebody for some somebody who, is that soul food? Is that like good for the soul food? I need a plate of that just so I could tell everybody how that, like, yeah, it. I had it. It's so good. Okay. Next, um, there was a, somebody is saying, and maybe they had it because now I'm hearing meatloaf. Okay. Can we get off the food thing? <laughs> can we just, okay. The next thing is, um, there's somebody here that you guys had to sleep in separate beds before they passed. Like you couldn't sleep together, but you slept near each other and they just want you to know that they love you and they're so happy. And I feel like this doesn't necessarily mean um, an older person. It could have been somebody like even a bit, a, a younger type of situation, not like in the, whatever. You're going to know if that's for you. The other, the next thing that the, the next micro message they want to get across is, do you remember at the club? And they're doing that song. Do you remember? 
Da, na, 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 na. I said I wasn't going to do songs, but you know me, I have to slide it in. Um, <clears throat> the next, the next, the, the club, like, um, and then they're doing that song in the club. It's going down anywhere you can. Uh, so whoever that's for, it's, it's, it's for you. Um, and then um, just going out and having fun. And then they're showing me a vision of like playing cards, like poker like um card any cards it could have been cribbage it could have been poker it could have just any cards any cards any cards and then i'm seeing a little guy oh, i knew it because the inside of my nose itched and when the inside of my nose itches it's always little kids he had lighter hair and fair skin and he's in his pajamas and they're um they have like the the uh, the pajamas are like um, white and then they have like maybe fire trucks or some kind of something on them and then they have like um, that here uh, tied around the ankle and the wrist so that's the best description I can give lighter hair also oh my gosh the chill oh my gosh you guys this is gonna literally break me all in front of me on my floor is all little children. Okay, pull it together, girl. Get it together. So there's this little this little girl who is so gorgeous, and she's she's dark skinned, very dark skinned. Um, and I'm saying dark skin because if I say Africans, one group will come at me. If I say black, another group will come at me. Just let me use my words. <laughs> she is just this beautiful little chunky cheeked baby still in pampers. And um, so she, she still has all of her baby chunk to her. And um, she's like right there just looking up, just like, hey looking around <laughs> yeah i have a pretty boring place don't i <laughs> okay um i i have to let that go i'm gonna start doing questions right now um and as messages come through i promise you i will give um um i will give them if i get my more micro messages i will give them as i go through i will give the songs um so thank you everybody thank you so much for being here and um we're going to get it going. We're going to get the show going. We are going to hit it. Here we go. And remember, if you would like to call in, the call-in number for the show is 845-277-9131. That's for the show and the show only. I'm going to go to the first caller, and the first caller is 470. 470, what's your name, and where are you calling from? Um, afternoon. My name is Trina. I'm calling from Atlanta, Georgia. Hey, Trina. How can I help you today? Um. Well, I got. Oh, my question is, I'm going through a lawsuit right now. And do you see me get on with in my lawsuit? Um, Trina. I don't feel that that I'm um. Okay, in, in just a couple quick words, what is this lawsuit regarding? Um, it's a um a work cop um a work cop um lawsuit. I I used to work for um um family dollars. Okay, thank you. And I had walked in the bathroom going in the head. Okay, I'm so sorry for you being injured. I'm so so sorry for for what happened to you. Um Here's what I'm going to tell you, and it's really important that you hear my words and re-listen to this. I okay. feel like here's, be very careful what you do when you're outside of your hose, home. Be very, very careful what you do when you're outside your home. Make sure you're getting all the medical documentation that you can. I do feel like there will be what they're calling. Don't don't get stuck on the word I'm using. There will be a reward or a um, 
at the end of this, there will be something. It's not going to be as much as you think or feel it's going to be. Ask the people helping you to be realistic about the numbers with you and make them be realistic about the numbers with you. And I do feel like when this comes in, Trina, and I cannot be more clear about this, don't tell anybody your numbers. Whatever they, I don't care if it's, if I'm, I'm exaggerating here, it's not going to be this amount. It'll be more if it's $10 or if it's 10 million, never tell anybody the number because everybody has their hand out, but nobody gives you a hand up. And that's all I'm saying on that. What I do feel like you need to do is keep everything documented perfectly. Keep perfect documentation. It's very, very important for you to do that. And make sure whomever is representing you is making sure you're getting all of the appropriate medical care that you need in this situation. And do not make sure everything is taken care of to the point it can be before you even start to think about where this might go and but the most important thing is medical documentation okay love yes ma'am thank you so much for calling in i really hope that was helpful and i hope that you have an amazing rest of the day and again i'm just gonna restate one thing be very careful of what you do outside of your home okay. yes ma'am i sure will Thank you so much, Sweet Pea. You have an amazing rest of the day. You too. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. And you know what? If you call in today, you can call in on Wednesday. You can call back anytime you want. Um, Frankie D on the um, Frankie D on the YouTube chat says, I have a question. I have dreamt of my mom twice in the last three weeks. I get the same, I get the sense. I'm so sorry, you guys. I get the sense she's trying to tell me something. Do you know what she's trying to say? I love you. I love you. Hey, hey, I love, excuse me, I love you. She's trying to say I love you. Uh, she really wants you to know that she cares about you and she loves you and she's with you. And she wants you to know that she is, um, even though your the dreams are are there that like she's the, even though that you she's all the time all the time especially in the car in the car a lot so could you please play her music once in a while that's just from her not me I'm not in the car I don't care. you can play whatever you want when you're in the car with her <laughs> but she would like to know if you could just please play her music for her okay. Okay, I'm going to go to the next caller, and the next caller is 470. I think I did this. 470, did I already do you? No, oh. I just did I'm, I'm sorry, what's your name? Hello? Hello? Baby. And I, no. I, uh, where are you calling from, love? I'm calling from Georgia. Okay, and could you please get a little bit closer to your phone just so I can hear you a little bit better along with everybody else? Uh, and what's your question today, love? Yeah, no, I'm not doing this. Listen, if you're calling in, if you're on the phone and you're calling in, have your phone to your face. Don't have a lot of background noise. Oh my gosh, do you guys see that? Do you see that? I can't even today. I can't even today. Okay. Make sure that I can hear you clearly. Please speak clearly. Please make sure it's a good connection. I know that there's a lot of things that we do not have control of, but do your best to, to have that. Okay, folks? There is no light above me. There's, there's actually no... That is just, do you guys see that? I'm trying to move to so you can see it better. I don't know if you guys can see that. If you can see that, let me know. 
please let me know. Okay, so I'm going to go to the next caller who is 925. 925, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, this is Teresa calling from Oregon. I have a question. I moved here um, about two months ago, and the lady that I rented from told me that she was going to go ahead and make sure that things were fixed, that there were certain things that would be fixed um, upon me entering. They weren't fixed, and she said uh, that she would still take care of them, and now she's just totally ignoring me. I'm not out to make out any enemies, but I do want these fixed. So I don't understand what's going on. Yeah, I, uh, well, two things are coming to me. Um, I feel like she either a cannot fix them or just doesn't care. She's the type of person who will say what she needs to say to get you in. And then just, well, you're in, what are you going to do? Move. Um, I do feel like what, depending on what the things are, um, let me see what I, what else I can get on this for you. Just give me a second. Um, okay. So for what I'm getting here, I do feel like there may not be a positive outcome to her fixing these things, whether it's because she personally doesn't know how to fix them or because she's not, can't for whatever reason. Um, every month when you pay your rent, just send a reminder, which I know you've been doing. Um, ask her this in one of them, in one of the things, just say to her, would you like me to hire someone to fix these things you promised and deduct it from the rent? State it like that and make sure it's okay. in print and you have a copy of it. Right. And then right. do not let her respond voice. Make sure she responds in print. Make sure she responds like via text, via email, whatever it is. Say, I understand you might be overwhelmed. You might be busy. Would it be better for you? Make it sound like you're doing something for her. Would it be better for you if I find somebody and have them fix it and deduct the cost of the repairs from the rent? She will either fix it fast or... Um, just say no, but again, you're giving her another option and you're showing that you've tried to, uh, alleviate or, or fix. You've gone through many different ways to fix this problem. So if you need to break a lease or move, you'll be able to do that and you'll have documentation and she won't be able to hold you to it. Um, and that is what I have for you. I'm sorry. I feel like I, sh I, I wish I could have given you more solutions, but it's kind of like a rock in a hard place situation. She's right. just, yeah, she, uh, there are some people out there that are kind of shysty or like old stubborn old coot type of, and find out what the uh, laws in your area are pertaining to landlord tenant. That's really yeah, important in this. That's going to be really important for you in this situation. If not now, down the line, you're going to need to know what those laws, your rights as a tenant are, and find out if you live in a state that favors tenants over landlords or landlords over right. tenants. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much, Tony. You are so welcome. I hope you have an absolutely amazing rest of the day. And thank you so much for calling in. You as well. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay, I'm going to find a question on the chat. Ah, there's so many people in here. I love it. Um, I did have a great weekend. Um, I'm going to go down to the bottom. If you have a question, please post it in the chat. I'm just going down to the bottom because there's just a lot of conversation. Um, 
Yeah, somebody, Sal's saying it looks like a blinking light, Sal. I'll, I'll show you all around behind me. There's no, Dad, there it goes again. There's no light. There's um, just more and more plants. Just more and more plants. That's all there is. And this over here is just um, that that light is not a light. That's just the window. So, yeah, there's just more and more plants every place. So that is what it is. Okay, I am going to go. Uh, uh, Okay, I'm going to go to the next caller because I can't find a question. So if you guys have a question, please post it. I'm going to go to 610. 610, what's your name and where are you calling from? Yeah, this is Sarah. I'm calling from New Jersey. Hey, Sarah, how can I help you today? Um, good question. Um, well, I want to know about my present job. But I mean, if you pick up anything, let me know. But what I was really calling in about is... Um, relationship question um i just wanted to see uh what you're picking up about my current relationship okay can i have your sarah sarah correct your name is sarah mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. sarah can i have your current partner's name just so i can kind of get into the energy with that sure and denise denise sarah and denise okay thank you Okay, so here's what I'm going to say, and I'm going to say it in this way so you understand it, because sometimes I get names mixed up, and I apologize for that, and please, mm -hmm. please understand. Mm -hmm. So the person who's a little bit more masculine or has a little bit more masculine tendencies in this relationship is having some expectations that are not being met. And they are um, beginning to become a little bit frustrated with that. Now, everything is seemingly, you know, kind of like what it is. It is what it is sort of thing. What I'm going to say, this isn't, I, I want to say it in a way that's not dooms, like a doomsday thing. It's not necessarily a deal breaker, but I do think that the communication between the two of you needs to be, be, um, there needs to be some conversation. Thank you. There needs to be some conversations regarding this, um, uh, regarding your rela relationship and expectations and where each of you want it to go. Okay. It's really important that you s both still have the same goal in mind. And if you don't, either what you can do to, to get to stay to get back on track with that or, or whatever you need to do with that situation. What I'm going to say, and how I am going to say it, it's up to you what you do with it. Whether the person who has the expectations is expressing that or not, it really needs to be addressed. Okay. I do feel like you need to make sure that the two of you are the only two having an influence in your relationship. And I do, and I'm, they're really saying things very, very carefully here. That's why it's coming out a little bit slower because the way they're bringing it down to me or through me, they're really taking their time and saying things very slowly here for you. And so that you can, I don't say, so that everything is said in, in the best possible way. I do feel like if there's any outside influences, and I know, I know girls do this all the time. Me and my friends do this all the time. When we are in relationships and we're talking to our friends, we will bring up what's going on in our relationship, good, bad, or indifferent. And they, it could be just something that different to keep your relationship in-house between the two of you only. Um, I do feel like uh, whatever's going on, there just needs to be some conversations between the two of you and nobody else. And that's where I'm going to 
put that. I do feel like once these conversations are had, things will kind of get back on track. I, I hope this makes sense for you. Yeah. Um, do you see the relationship in danger by any chance, like continuing or ending? Okay. And I'm, I'm going to kind of repeat a little bit of what I said before. Um, here's, okay, so here's how I'm going to say this. If something outside of the relationship is influencing this relationship, it's going to be found out soon. Okay, there's, there's no way it's not coming out into the open. And it's going to come out into the open soon. And whatever that means for you guys. If you don't communicate okay. clearly with each other, absolutely. If you don't have those clear cut communications, yes, there are going to be problems and there's going to be something um, falling apart with this relationship. Okay. Um, okay. Sometimes it's difficult to communicate with some people because we have different communication styles. So I always recommend that if we if we find it's difficult to bring up and talk to our partner about things, that we write it out in a very diplomatic way, no blame involved. I want us, always use us and we, not you. Um, don't accuse them. I want us to have the healthiest relationship possible. I want us to move forward in the best way possible. I want, you know us to have whatever it is. Um, we have been uh, having a little bit of difficulty in this area and I want us to fix it. No blame games going on. And and then from there, if, if you can't state it um, or you feel like you're nervous or you um, when you try to say things, they get uh, cut off because that's what humans do. Whenever somebody says something to somebody, um, and the person feels attacked, they're going to sometimes react and defend themselves before you get to finish your statement, and then it all goes to poop. So I find sometimes ha having that um, right, not in a text, not in a text, but it, uh, literally writing it out on a piece of paper, handwritten um, on a piece of paper can be very helpful to for both of you to express your feelings and be heard because if you read the whole thing there's there's it's easier than just reacting when you hear the first negative thing and that's what i'm getting for you my love and yes you do need to um if you're working someplace you need to find someplace um if you're not working, you need to get on that as quickly as possible and you need no, to- No, I am working. Okay, good. You need to uh, really, if you've been thinking about changing, there is some place that's going to come in that will be a good place, but stay where you are until another place comes in. I don't feel like you're gonna change places for like six months though, okay, love? Okay. Now that yeah, does... I'm really not looking to change. You know, it's it's a good job and good benefit. So. Okay. Good. Yeah. Now that doesn't mean you can go in and act a fool. That means you still have to be top of the game. I do feel like there in six months there is a possibility for a change, whether it's within your company or outside of your company. If it's in your company, it'll be like a lateral move. They move you <clears throat> a little bit, but it'll be good. You'll learn new things and eventually you'll move up. So please um, know that. Okay, love? I will. Thank you. You're so welcome. I hope you have an amazing day. Thank you. Good. Thank you, love. Okay, I'm going to see if somebody has a question. Um, oh, yeah, absolutely. So Patrick wants to know, can we do, can I do a clearing on patience? Yes. Okay. So um, we are patient. I get a no, all that stopping or blocking this. And what I'm getting is frustration and worry is behind this. So all frustration and worry has been healed, clear release. Let's get that. Um, okay. That, 
Patrick, I hope that's helpful. I hope that that is, um, that that helps you and everybody else listening and, um, and uh, watching. Thank you for that. I'm going to go to 814. 814, what's your name and where are you calling from? Eight one four. Okay, I have a three second. Oh, eight one four. Sorry, um, three four seven. Three four seven. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, hi, Tony. This is Katie, and I'm calling from New York. Hey, Katie. How can I help you today? Um, I had um took a test. And I wasn't successful on a test, and um, I I only missed it by a couple of points. And I'm wondering why, like what what happened? Because um, I kind of was asking my like I do like um, off vocal cards and things like that, and different things, and it kind of said I was going to pass. So I'm just wondering what happened. Um. Well. I'm not, I'm, I'm not sure it takes a psychic to answer this question, but I'm going to, I'm going to do the best I can. No, seriously, I do feel like there was. I, mean, I just want to know, like, if there's an emotional reason, like, do I feel I'm worthy? Do I not want to I'm just trying to figure okay. out if you're like a. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much for, <laughs> thank you. I was like, um, I think you didn't pass because maybe you didn't get one of the questions. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, what I'm going to say is you have a, a block to success, a fear of success. That is what I'm hearing. It's hitting me like a ton of bricks. It makes me want to cry. Like, um, and I know exactly what this is. I know it, I'm going to tell you exactly mm -hmm. what this is. And I'm going to start clearing everything that's coming to me as it comes to me. I'm clearing it. I'm not even going to say half of it. So you guys, if you feel this, um, know that it's a part of what's going on with you. So fear of, ex fear of success, clear that. You are a f subconsciously, possibly, there's this thing when we are growing up for certain people that we better not be better than people around us because they will shun us, not like us, not accept us, not want us around, whether that's actual, stated, or whatever. I cannot tell you how many times I, growing up, heard such like any time anything was going good, you think you're such a prima donna. You think you're better than the rest of us. And no, not me. If that's, mm -hmm. you know, stop projecting yeah, your was, own beliefs. That was my that was, so that we're going to yeah, clear. That was my talent, yeah. Yes. We're going to clear all of that for you. And I feel that in my heart. It feels like somebody just took a little bitty yeah, and pushed it in my heart for you. So we're going to. We're going to clear all of that out, all the programming, beliefs, all of the, <laughs> Jesus, oh, all the everything that went with that, all the subconscious, conscious, all the holding on to it. We're going to let it all go now. And then we're going to, we're not only going to take all this out, but we are going to add all the yummy, yummy, yum, yum on top of it. So we're, we're taking out all the fear of being successful, better than, and because there is no better than, and, and, you know, so, and we're going to add that you are now have a leader mentality and we're going to strengthen that for you and everybody listening. And what the leader mentality is, is you're the show me girl or guy. You're the show me person. Like you accomplish and you're showing others how to do it. You go up a level and you're showing, see, this is possible. So we're changing that whole thought process and mentality with you from if I do good, people will kick me out of their lives, not like me, yada, yada. Or be jealous of me. Be yeah, jealous, jealous of me. Yeah. Whatever it is, we're clearing all that out. And let me tell you. Those people, they should never, ever be in our lives in the first place because they will do everything to yeah. sabotage us. And we need to be in a place 
where yeah. we have people who are pulling us up people who are up here like if you can't see me i'm sorry they're they're like on our next level that we want to pulling us up and people below us pushing us up and then we turn around and we pull them up and then we get pulled up and then we pull them up and then they pull us up and then we that's the that's the people we want those are the people anybody who's hating on greatness of any kind they just they're comfortable in their muck and they're not our people and the reason people get jealous is because when we achieve they they know they could do it but they're content in their muck and that then when we show them they're like oh who does she it it, it it has more to do with them wanting everybody to stay where they are so they can feel superior when they're not pushing up or pulling up they're just sitting in their pile I'm not going to tell you what kind of pile they're sitting in, but we all know. So we're going to say we're going to get, um, we're going to now be in the leader or the show me. And I get a yes. So we're going to strengthen that for everybody. And let me tell you something. We are not here for the negative nanas. We are here. We are right. supposed to become the brightest star so that anybody who is looking at us that's looking for that way up that way out because you don't just because somebody you know is side-eyeing you or giving you the the as my aunt would say the the evil eye and she'd always do this to protect herself and just because somebody's doing that that's just not our people the people we never know what child is looking at us going that's what i want we never know what co-person is looking at us even people who are more mature than us are looking and saying, that's what I want. Those are the reasons we are supposed to keep growing and shining and going, not for the people who would say or do shenanigans about it. We are supposed to be the best version of us and even better and never stop for those who are trying to build their way up and they're just looking at it because you know and I'm going to say this you know those families where everybody's like this and then there's that one person that one kid or that one aunt or uncle that's like I just I know mm -hmm. there's another way and then they see you and they're like there's my way and that's why we're supposed to shine as brightly to reach every corner and that's what what we need to do so we're afraid to shine i get a yes oh we're gonna clear all of that we're mm -hmm. gonna let that go we're gonna we're gonna all fear with success with money with wealth with with being with moving up or or leveling up or whatever we want to call it has been healed clear we're gonna say we're gonna clear all of that okay clear that and clear that okay sweetie that is what it is now, the next time you take this, I, I feel like obviously if you take this again, it's going to be very good and you're going to do amazing. And it's going to be one of those things where you're going to be like, what was I thinking? Like, you're just going to have that mentality now that, of course, this is mine. Of course, this is mine. Of course, I'm supposed to do this. And not for me, but for anyone and everyone who might be looking at me. Okay, and not in that show off, right. but that yes. show up. I'm showing no, up. No, 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 just inspiration. Uh, inspiration. It's, uh, you, um, you know what I'm going to say? You see the things you just said? Can I um do this? Like, I'm, I'm going to listen back to it, but like, say it to myself. And um, like, because I want to add in, like, if I have any obligations to the people who like were shaming me, like, I, I could maybe have an unconscious over obligation. I'm just wondering, can I add my own little twist and start saying that? Would it clear it? Oh my gosh, yeah. You know, and that's the beautiful thing. The angels okay. come in and clear. So if you feel obligated to people, clear that. I'm going to clear that. If we have people, yeah. we feel obligations to people, especially oh, those you. who have, um, you know, it's funny. It's, people can, yeah. I, I'm just going to say this. People can straight up be jealous, hate, dislike you, and still take from your plate. And they, they will do it so easily yeah. because they don't respect you. They don't like you. And because they've never worked so hard to get where you are, they gladly 
will just take from you because they have no respect for it, everything it took for you to get where you are. So let's clear any obligation. And this is my favorite thing. Everybody, 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 everybody. Oh, <laughs> the songs are coming through whether we are trying to or not. Um, now, when I do this, we lose those people who are not in our best interest will fall away like the orkin man just came through okay and need i say more no i need not say more we have let go of Thank all you so users abusers and confusers i get a no let's clear that for everybody listening re-listening anybody who and we see clearly anybody using abusing confusing us manipulating is another word for confusing we see <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I need my peeps in my chat to shout out who is feeling this as much as I am or at all. Let's clear that. And you can come back and watch this again and again and clear it daily until okay. until you know. Thank you so much. And here's the best one. This is the yummies that we're going to to put in now. We are now attracting and on the level of like-minded, successful people, I get a yes, we're going to strengthen that. We're going to bring that in. We have only those who have love and light for us around us. Our true group is coming in. Those who will assist and we can assist, I get a, a yes. So we're going to, excuse me, I'm so sorry. We're going to strengthen that. And then the last one is, we unconditionally love ourselves. I get a yes. We're going to strengthen that. Everything stopping or blocking that. We're going to clear anything that might stop or block that. My love, I wish you the best on your journey. Please call back and let us know. Thank you. And, and good luck. You are going I'm to be cool. amazing so now. Much. Absolutely my pleasure. Absolutely my pleasure. Yeah. Okay, love? Bye-bye. Thank you. You yeah, are. Thank you. You are so, so welcome. You are so, so welcome. Okay, I'm going to check. Um, I'm going to go back. I, I think somebody else other than Frankie asked me um, a question earlier. And I want to I wanna catch that question because they would have asked it very, very early. Earlier, I was talking about make it, makeup on the show. So there's a lot of comments about makeup. But I'm not finding it. So I'm going to go to the next caller who is dun, dun, dun. I don't know. I don't know. I'm sorry if I miss your call. I'm so, so sorry. I'm sorry. So if you'd like to call in, the number is 845-277-9131. And I am going to go to um, 773 right now. 773, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. This is Joellen. I'm calling from Indianapolis. Hey, Joellen. How can I help you today? Well, you know, I just came back from a vacation, and it was um, with work colleagues, and it was a way to get to know people, and it was a pilgrimage of sorts. And I feel like I feel like I did a missed opportunity in trying to get to know people, and I want to know was I wrong. Is there a way to fix it, Did, or am I just misinterpreting? Okay, um, so first and foremost, let's clear any... Let's clear any mishaps or miscommunication from this. And no, you, yeah, there's a lot because I can't even breathe right now. Um, first and foremost, I, me personally, and many people in the chat, I, I would never, if I work with people in a situation like that, I don't know that I would be comfortable going on a so-called work vacation with them. Um, I, I just personally think that that is, 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 that is not a healthy thing. Um, 
from the jump. That's not, that's, that's just not healthy. We can't even go on vacation with our whole family and get along. How do they expect people at work to go on a, a thing and pull out things? And it, yeah, no, um, that's <laughs> no. I just, for me personally, that's a lot of different personalities with a lot of different expectations. And I'm not loving that. I'm, I'm staying. Oh, you guys are all going on a work vacation. Oh, it's my dog's birthday and I cannot go. I've already planned this big birthday party for my dog, but hey, tell me all about it when you get back. I'm not doing that. Uh, we're going to clear any mishaps or miscommunications and there's a healthy relationships between you and your coworkers. I get a no, so we're going to clear that to a yes. And let me tell you, this didn't start on this work vacation. Um, just being around people this long tends to bring it out a little bit more. Um, it's all going to smooth over. Things will be forgotten. Things will move on. Don't worry. Time does wonderful things for people's memories. Um, all that happened on this has been healed. Let's clear that to a yes. Uh, I, I feel like it's going to be okay. I give it about a month to a month and a half. During that time, just laugh about everything. Um, don't be self-conscious about things um, and just laugh. I'm sure there's at least two other people that are feeling the same way as you do about this whole work vacation thing, okay? Was, was, I, was I wrong in not... Because I, I hung out with one person over a couple other people because they weren't uh, the no you know before listen before you even finish that statement as soon as you said was I wrong I gotta know you're not in school this isn't you know a sixth grade field trip where you're being forced to hang out this is you know, we're adults and we have the right to gravitate toward the people who feel right towards us. You don't have to force yourself for any reason. You can be socially polite to people, but not force yourself to hang out with them. No, I don't care where I am. If, if I'm not working like if I'm obviously, if I'm doing a big corporate event, if I'm doing a big event or a gallery, I'm going to communicate with everybody. But on my personal time or a, a a work, whatever thing, if it's not mandated, I'm not doing it. Um, we have the right to pick and choose. So don't don't worry about that. You didn't miss any opportunity that is for you you can't, you won't miss and don't, don't second guess or question your choices. Okay. Um, I'm going to put it to you this way and you can giggle or laugh at it. I'm sure the, the top person that came along on this work vacation that they, the boss or manager or CEO, whoever showed up, if they did, they may have been socially um, said hello to a few people, but then went and did their thing. Um, and that's okay. So it's okay for you. What, what I'm trying to say is there's a reason that you did that. Accept that reason. Be okay with it. Don't second guess yourself and stand your ground on it. And, and who cares, you know, what, what any anyone else thinks or says about it. Okay, love? Is it going to come back and, and... Yeah, I'm not doing, I'm not doing that. I'm not, I've answered, go back, re-listen to it. We're, we're not going to take 20 minutes to answer that. So I'm not doing that. Like, see, that's the point where folks, that's, that's my point right there. <laughs> that's my point. It's a good thing you only hung out with one person. Maybe, I don't know. What I'm going to say is I answered your question. Thank you so much for the call. I really appreciate it. I don't think we need to talk about that more. I think I was very, 
I think I answered that. Everybody else, I think everybody understands the answer. I'm sure you do too. I did a clearing on it. You are solid, friend. You are solid. I'm going to go online to Kylie. Kylie, do I have any message from Spirit? Yes, Kylie. Is there some, Kylie, I only, uh, can you please tell me, is there somebody specific or do you not care who from Spirit talks to you? Um, Kylie, the first thing I'm hearing Kylie, <clears throat> what I'm going to tell you is you have some people on the other side that really, really watch out for you and they're trying to keep you on the right path, if that makes sense to you. Now, the right path isn't always um, like, like, do I do drugs or do I not do drugs? The right path could be towards your soul purpose, love. Um, so Kylie, what's your brother's first name? Now that I have you on the keyboard, Kylie wants to connect with her brother. Uh, Kylie, Chris. Okay, Chris, thank you for letting me know his first name. That gives me that thing. So Kylie, what I'm going to say to you is, um, your, the first thing your brother is, um, saying to you, he's trying to keep you on the right track, the right path. Don't, don't. Don't, don't veer off, stay strong and move forward. There's a real, Kylie, how old are you, love? There's a really big, beautiful uh, future for you is the way I want to say it. Um, it. You're 44, 44. Okay, you have such a young energy. The energy I'm picking up on you is so young, you have this big, beautiful energy that is um, this uh, this big, beautiful future with this big, beautiful energy. And don't think because of age that that's not it. You're about to take a second step or a second act. It might not be immediately, but there's a there's what they're calling a next act for you, and that next act is going to be very profound. Now, when they're saying stay on track. You're going to know what that means more than me or anyone else. You're going to know exactly what that means and where you could veer off of track. And thank you for sharing those answers with me. Your brother's always with you along with a number of other people. I feel like there's at least one grandma that Chris is with all the time. And there's a guy too. And the guy, the guy is right here. And the guy has his arm around um, your brother. And I feel like they are always with you, always. Um, some of their signs for you, one of them is like some kind of smoke, whether it be cigarette, cigar, pipe, something else, something else, whatever, whatever. I've never, I'm allergic to the marijuana. I've never, but it's so funny that I did that to me because I've never, ever been able to. I would like, literally, it's worse than bacon and eggs for me. I, I, I swear to goodness, I've never, but they keep doing, oh my God. That's almost like, that's so hilarious to me. Whatever smoke it is, they're showing me smoke seconds. as a confirmation for you. Um, but the, the biggest message is stay on track. Don't lose sight of what's really important for you. Okay, sweetie. I hope that's really helpful. Okay, everybody. I am going to be back Wednesday at 7 p.m. Please, if you want to know when I go live, hit the buttons that you need to hit. Um, thank you for joining me. Thank you for liking the show. Thank you for everything. I just want you to know I love you so stinking much. Thank you.